yes good morning friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn a topic called a client administration in sap today we are going to see the topic called client administration in sap what is client administration and what all things you are going to be in this today we want to see how to create a new client and what all things we require a priority priority things what we require to create a client and how you can check his logs client logs whether it's creating or not everything okay client is what client is an entity where we can secure our data related to sap here we have got different clients and clients are dependent or independent means you create a user in client 700 you cannot see that user but see in that other data in other client it means that would be a client specific user means what if you create a user particular line number you can able to see in uh, those that user in the client only you cannot see the user in other client that is a client specific that is a client specific and you can call it as a client dependent client dependent we have one more called client independent where you can see data across the systems you can say it's a cross client system to see what are the different things we can see in a client administration what are things we see SCC4, we see BD54, and we see SCC3. SCC4 is to create a new client. BD54 is to create a logical client. SCC3 is to see the logs. Okay. SCC is for SCC is for client administration. Create a new client. A client we can require a logical client. Whenever you think about a create a client, we require a logical client with the same name and the same number. Okay. We get logical with BD54. If you create a client 390, you have to create logical line for 390. How to create logical line? You have to. We can create logical line through BD54. Okay, and the nomenclature would be SID, CLID, and the client number. In a in our case, our SID is PID, CLID 390. With the help of this, we can create logical line. PID, CLID 390, create logical line. So PID is in there. SCC3 is for what to see the client logs. To see if you perform any activity on the client, if you see want to see the logs, you have to go and check in SCC3. So today we are going to create a client called 720. Okay, we can create a, create a client called 720. We need to create a Logic line for 720. How we will create that? It's very easy. SID, CLNT, SID, CLNT, and the client number. I do this here. SID, CLNT, and the client number. So how it look like? SID is PID, CLNT. Client number would be 720. Now we will see how to create a client in a system. To create a client, first we need a, as we discussed, we need a logical client. First we create a logical client through BD54. BD54. Just go, enter. Cross client, okay. Now, just click on new systems. Now, logical client, PID, CLNT, and seven twenty. Okay. Client for seven twenty. Logic client for seven twenty. Press enter. Press save over here. Transfer request. No problem. Now we have created a logical client called seven twenty. Now we are going to create a client. Go to SCC four. Now we are cross line. Click on cross line. Then go to new entries. 
within a year, just give a client number. Test transfer demo. City, you can do any city. I'll use Mumbai. Okay, logical client. Here you have to select the logical client which you had created. Otherwise, it will stop over here itself. What was the created? We created 720. Create 720 and INA, you have to use standard currency of India currency, INA, the client rule, whether it's the production client, testing client, customer client, demo client. We take it as a test client. We take it as a test client. Now, if I save this, if I save this, be careful, okay? Yeah, now we have created a client called 720 in our system. Now we have completed the things, how to create a client in 720. Thanks, thanks for watching, watching my TV, watching my video. If you like my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you, thanks all.